Well, friends, welcome to the third day of our Holy Week devotionals here at Cedar Grove Baptist Church. My name is Pastor Tyrese Ivey. Thank you for joining us to pass two days. And if this is your first day, we want to welcome you as well. And thank you for coming in. We're walking through John 316. For God so loved the world that he gave. He, God, loved us so much that he gave. When you think about it, salvation, the fact that Jesus dies is buried and risen from the grave, gives us an opportunity to be saved. We who know the Christian story know that he died one Friday. He was placed in a borrowed tomb, and the third day he was risen, that is Jesus, from the grave, with all power in his hands. Jesus pays our debt before the invoice is ever sent to our address. Jesus pays our debt for us. God gave us his best by giving us his son, Jesus. Jesus gives us his best by giving up his life for our sins. So my challenge today, what will you give back to God? We think about the principle of stewardship. We think about time, talent, and treasure. But I think with God who gave us the most, we often turn around and give him back the least. The fast-paced society we live in, so many things consume our time. In the 24-hour day, how much time do we give back to God? Of course, we can never repay God for the gift he gives us in his son, Jesus. We can never repay Jesus for the gift he gives us in giving up his life. But we can give something. And I think the problem is we become so consumed with our own agenda and the agendas of others around us. We don't give enough back to God. And I'm not even just specifically talking about money. That's another topic for another day. But I'm talking about time. Giving God some time. Today, that's my challenge for you. Is to give God some time. This Sunday, we'll get ready to celebrate the Super Bowl for the Christians. This is the big day. We we all thrive around Easter. It's Easter of a bomb. If Easter is not successful, if the resurrection is not successful, we don't have anything to hang Christianity on. So this is a time we remember the sacrifice, but we thank God for the sacrifice. Take some time and give it to him. Those of us who have iPhones, they give us a report weekly, most of us, of our screen time, how much time we are spending on social media, how much time we're spending on apps, so how much time we're dibbling and dabbling in other things on our phone. I want to ask you, what's your time slot for what you give to God? Do you give him enough? Do you don't give him anything? Somewhere in the middle, let's change that. Again, God gave us his best in giving his son. His son gave his best in giving his life. I want to challenge you to give God some time. Give him time to talk to you. You can have time to talk to him. But make sure in your conversation when you're talking to God, it's not a one-way street. Allow God to talk back to you. Give him that time. I'm sure you will be rewarded in the time well spent with the person who loves you more than anyone else. Be blessed. I'll see you in the morning.